your assignment for the week of April 27th. This is our only assignment that we're going to have for the entire week. You're going to create and classify your own animal as our final project for our living organisms unit. So if we're looking at this, you have 20 days of lessons a week completed over animal classification. So you are going to pretend that you are your own scientist and you have discovered a new class of animal. So your mission is to create an all new species of animal and then classify your animal using what you have learned in this living organisms unit. So create a new animal that doesn't already exist. You can do it however you like, but here are some ideas. You can draw a picture of your animal. Make sure it's detailed and easy to see so we can tell the things that it has for making it a unique animal. Make a 3D model of your animal using materials around your house. Recycled items, clay, Legos. Create a digital image of your animal using an app or programs like Google Draw. Or you can also use the website Switch Zoo to create an animal mashup, then take a screenshot. Be creative. Doesn't matter how you make it, just make sure it is creative and unique and you take a picture of it. Okay? On this next slide, you're going to put the name of your animal in the box here, animal name. You're going to post your picture here. So, let's do this. Let's go and look at the next slide. Is your animal a vertebrate or invertebrate? I mean, does it have a backbone or not have a backbone? If it is a vertebrate, what kind of vertebrate does it have? Is it a fish, reptile, amphibian, mammal, or bird? What type of consumer is your animal? Is it an herbivore, an omnivore, or a carnivore? And what organisms does your animal eat? What is its food sources? Okay. So, classifying your animal. What, ad what adaptations does your animal have that help it to survive? Be specific. Name at least three adaptations and tell how each adaptation helps your animal to survive. What kind of habitat does your animal live in? Where does it live? Okay. Describe it in detail. What its home is like, where it lives, the environment around it. Okay. What is your, where does your animal fall in the food chain? So, ooh, thinking here. We have the sun. What does the sun get energy to? What eats that? What eats that? And then what eats that? Where would your animal fall in this food chain? Finally, you're going to make a flip grid video of your animal. You're going to tell us about your animal. So you're making your own video here, kind of like Steve Irwin or some of the other animal people that are on TV that you might see and telling us about this animal. You're going to have a picture of it. You're going to show it to us. You're going to describe it. Maybe you got a little video of the animal moving. That's up to your creativity. So, for this week, you're going to have to plan this out. You're going to need a couple of days to make your video. So, the very first thing I would say you're going to need to do on Monday is to create your animal. Get your picture of it and paste it in here. That's what I would do on Monday. Okay. By Tuesday, I would have finished step three. Wednesday... So this would be Tuesday, step three. Wednesday, I would complete step four. And then Thursday, Friday, I would work on my video, step five, and posting that to Flipgrid. So let me give you an example. If you go to Switch Zoo, so I'm going to click on Switch Zoo. We're going to open the app or the website. Depends upon what you're using. So here we have... A standard zebra. All right, I could stick with the zebra, or I could go to being a bear. Or another animal that I want to start as my base animal.
So here we have a polar bear. Now, I can choose to go right here and say, oh, I want to change the head. I want to change the head of the polar bear to that. So it has the head of a dog. Oh, I could change its legs from being four-legged, if I wanted to, to two-legged, or such as a bird. Okay, Or I could change it to the legs of a rhino or a hippo. Okay, rhinoceros, okay, whatever legs you want to change it to, ooh, maybe I change it to the legs of a cheetah, okay, does it have a tail, hmm, well, I could add a tail or not. So then these would be the things that I would want to have. So then I could take a screenshot of it. Okay. If I'm on my computer, I could do a Command Shift 4, take a screenshot of my animal, saves it on my desktop. I go back, come into here, and I drag my picture in. And there I have my picture of my animal. Okay, I can always crop this by going up here. Cutting out some of the things that I don't want. To be in there. There could be my animal. Okay. I don't want that bison to be up there in the corner. I can drag it down a little bit lower below it. And there we go, there's my animal. If I want to increase the size of it down here, not to undo that, made a mistake. Undo it. Let's go, there I go, now I've got my crop. Bring it back down. There's my animal. Okay, so on. You can make a slideshow presentation and upload your slideshow, do a screencast of it, upload it into, into Flipgrid if you want to. Okay, these are all things that you can do to work on your particular animal. So this would be two Monday and Tuesday assignment. Monday, I'd finish step two. Tuesday, finish step three. Wednesday, finish step four, and Thursday and Friday, working on step five. Okay? All right. So this would be your assignment for the week. This is the only posting for the week of April 27th. It'll be due at the end of the week.